Welcome to another episode of Getting Real at Hill Farms. So today we went for a walk through the woods, through the snow, and we showed up here at Hill Custom Lumber. So what is Hill Custom Lumber? This started out as my brother bought a sawmill to cut some wood uh, some from our trees in the woods. And we needed uh, all kinds of different woods here on the farm. You always never have enough wood on the farm. So we, over the years, we've cut thousands of board feet of lumber uh, out of the woods and uh, use it for all kinds of projects to build our infrastructure here at Hill Farms. So in the meantime, uh, Corey graduated high school, stayed here on the farm, and he took this uh, sawmill and turned it into a regular business that he does on the side. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to Corey, and he's going to explain what he does here. So Corey? As Jeff alluded to, uh, I graduated high school 2007. Hill Custom Lumber became a business in 2009. Uh, this is our 10th year in operation. Um, I've always had a passion for woodworking and we kind of just morphed that into a business. Um, so we are a full service uh, wood processing business. Uh, we take logs, saw them into lumber, kiln dry it, and machine the wood into finished products, uh, mostly flooring, molding, paneling. It's all done in-house. Um, so in future episodes we'll walk you through that, show you each step of the process, how we go from the stump to the finished product, which is actually what you're looking at here. Um, so we're kind of starting at the, the end and working backwards. Um, so this is hardwood flooring. Uh, this is our showroom office here. Um, everything in here uh, was done by us. Uh, we do a lot of different unique flooring, wide plank flooring, um, stuff you don't find every day. Um, whether it be what we have here is some ambrosia maple um, that's kind of some unique stuff has some some beetle marks and, and marks uh, you know natural occurring stuff in the wood um, we do pine pine paneling the, the ceiling is pine bee groove um, all that kind of stuff you name it if it's made out of wood we can probably do it um, so uh, all our stuff is local. Uh, these are all local hardwoods, uh, locally harvested. Um, and uh, you know, we, we thrive on doing unique orders, things you won't find anywhere else. That's our bread and butter is custom work. Um, one of the things uh, we do that you won't really find anywhere else, we do mixed species flooring. Uh, where we take all the different local woods, mix them together, uh, you get excellent contrast in, in colors and, and grains. Um, so that, that's kind of what we focus on here. Um, and as we go forward, you'll see exactly how we do it. So Corey, if someone would want to get some, some lumber for you, does, do they have to have their own logs or do you provide uh, the, the feedstock for them uh, or exactly how, how, do they do, how do they go about doing it if they say, I want to get some wood, I uh, love what I'm seeing here, how do they go about doing we, it? We do it both ways. Uh, our business is about 50-50, working, processing other people's wood. We can take your logs, turn them into lumber um, as far along the process as you want. Green lumber, dried lumber, uh, millwork. Uh, if you have lumber, we can process it from rough lumber state, um, or you can just call me or stop by and say, I like that, I want that, and we can make it for you out of our own lumber. So someone can actually go out in their woods, cut down a tree in their woods, bring it to you, and have them make it in the flooring which they put in their house. That's correct. Okay. So what do you do with the off-fall and the waste product? You know, we like to be really environmentally friendly here at Hill Farm. So uh, like the sawdust and the, and the pieces of the log that can't be made in the flooring. Everything is used here. Uh, we waste virtually nothing. All the off-fall from the sawmill is bundled and sold as firewood. Uh, all the sawdust and planer shavings are sold for horse bedding. Uh, so they're, they're really... If, if we don't use it ourselves, it's used up somehow in the process. Yeah, and that's what we try to do here with everything we do. We're trying to be environmentally friendly. So uh, probably unlike some of the bigger mills where there is a lot of waste and it goes into some different products, uh, this stuff here is all being used, which is, yeah. which is really great. Yeah, and uh, we try to be as energy efficient as possible. As you'll see, our sawmill uh, is, is very efficient compared to the big old circular mills um, as far as yield and fuel efficiency. Uh, our kilns are very efficient, uh, the modern technology, uh, which we'll get into that um, when, we, when we visit the kilns. Um, but yeah, we, we strive, uh, you know, for environmental soundness, um, just because environmental soundness a lot of times is economic soundness as far as business goes. So it, uh, it really serves us, um, you know, to do it 
do it the right way. Yeah, and this has allowed us to get our woods cleaned out and keep them, keep them healthy. Uh, the wood is all used either on our own farm or uh, Corey ends up selling it to, to, to customers coming here looking to make some of these beautiful wood here he has for whether it's flooring or, or paneling or molding or whatever it might be. So uh, all around, uh, you know, it's a, it's a process that we're not letting anything go to waste and, and that's what we're all about. So uh, unless there's anything else, I guess what we'll do is uh, we're going to move on and we're going to show you, you know, uh, some of the steps. Uh, yeah, the next step in the process would be the sawmill so we'll uh, we'll visit that okay well we'll see you then